Well, hello everyone and welcome to Fractions 101. I'm Mr. Burke and uh, today we're going to look at the basics of fractions. In other words, what makes up a fraction. So I'm pretty sure you all are already aware of what a fraction looks like, but if you're not, that's where we're going to start. Okay? So a fraction is a number that looks sort of like this. Let's take 3 over 4. Okay? So this is 3 over 4, or as we would say, 3 quarters, okay? The top number is called the numerator. The bottom number we refer to as the denominator. Now these two names are actually quite important for what we're going to be looking at, because the denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into. So what this is saying is that there are four equal parts in a whole. Okay, Fractions are numbers that are less than a whole. So in the whole there are four parts equally divided amongst themselves. Okay, But this number up here, the numerator, tells us how many of those pieces we have. So in this case we have three of the four equal pieces. So let's say you have a chocolate bar, okay, and you split the chocolate bar into four quadrants. Now let's say you bring it in from lunch and you've got it split into those four pieces. Those four pieces make the whole. You put it on your desk and then you go walk out into the hallway to get a drink. You come back, three of the four pieces are still there, one piece has gone missing. Three quarters of the chocolate bar is there, one quarter someone took. And if I had to guess, probably Lucas. I'm just kidding. Okay, so three quarters, three pieces of the whole, there are four pieces in the whole, okay? A unit fraction has a numerator of one, and what that means is it's one unit, okay, so it's one of these four units, it's a unit fraction, okay? A proper fraction is this, this is a proper fraction, okay? It's a number that is less than the whole. If I were to mix this up, and let's say I change this number, Let's say I change this number to 6 over 4. We now have more pieces than we have in the whole. That's called an improper fraction. Okay? What we like to do is with improper fractions is change them around so that we can tell what it's actually telling us. I mean, we know right now by looking at it that it's more than one whole. What it really and truthfully is saying here is we've got one whole, right? That's 4 out of 4 plus the remaining 2 to make 6. Okay, so I'll slow that down again and I'll show you what I did. What we did was we basically said 4 over 4 plus 2 over 4 equals 6 over 4. So 4 and 4 is the whole plus the remaining 2 uh, which gives us 1 and 2 fourths. Okay. Uh, and you know what? That's essentially the basics of a fraction. That's really all you need to know uh, to get you started with the beginnings of fractions. The next module, the next video, we're going to look at uh, comparing and ordering fractions. So looking at uh, two numbers and deciding which one is greater, which one is less. So, I don't know, let's say, for example, I was to throw this up here. And I asked you which one is better greater, which one has more value, the 1 over 2 or the 6 over 4, and you'd have to be able to tell me why. So that's the next one.